okay this is uh, this is how it is to ride with a stock uh, <coughs> headlight of the ktm uh, at ktm adventure right now mine is on low beam but i think my low beam is also adjusted uh, a little too uh, high so this is the low beam this is the high beam This is as we come into a slightly crowded part of the market. You can, there's a little bit of ambient light here. You don't really need your, actually there's quite a lot of ambient light here. You don't need your headlight to see as such. Not that we're going very fast either. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to come to an absolutely dark patch and see what the effectiveness of this light is and then we'll also see some situations where uh, the oncoming traffic is actually blinding us with their high beams yeah this idiot is on high beam now this is a situation where we do have some light but it's not really bright enough to be useful so for for seeing things we are primarily using the motorcycle's headlight now we are getting into a, now we are leaving the city behind and we are getting into a slightly more darker patch but since our speed is low and you know we have other traffic on the road so it gives us a reference of where the road is going it's sort of much easier to work with this yeah but see when you have oncoming traffic it's oh see this is what happens For a moment I didn't realize that the road was turning that sharply. It's a good time to turn on our light force. Now this is the, uh, sorry not light force, this is the Baha Designs Squadron Pro. Uh, it's really comfortable driving with this but just switch it off for oncoming traffic. Does that feel like night and day? So this is this is all right. In fact, when you do have traffic, uh, you know, I would request everybody to just switch off their auxiliary lights. You don't want to blind people, and you can use the other vehicles as a reference to find your way through. This is high beam. Actually, it's not. Uh, it's not too bad. Sort of put on low beam when you get traffic. Does do a reasonable job of illuminating the road. This is the Baha design. Just love the way it eliminates the road. Il sorry, not eliminates. Illuminates. Ill -ill 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 illuminates the road. Also one good thing about going on these roads at night is that you can see opposite traffic. I mean you can make out that there's somebody coming because their headlights are illuminating the road, not eliminating the road. Yeah, but that's assuming that the guy has headlights. 
you know otherwise it's going to end up to be a big disaster and nobody likes disasters and also yeah before adding lights just check your uh, check your eyesight and make sure that your uh, visor is uh, clear i mean a clear visor is worth another good auxiliary light i guess okay shall we light it up i think i could adjust i could adjust my lights a little bit right now what we are using is uh, like uh, i have two lights and both of them uh, have the combination uh, beam pattern so basically four leds in each light two of them are at a at a spread and uh, two of them are uh, working as spots uh, and that's the same combination on the other light as well what i'm what i'm going to try doing next is get uh, convert one of the lights to a fully uh, uh, to a full spot uh, pattern so i'm going to have out of a total of four leds i'm going to have uh, six spots and two working as spreads so anyway this is what a uh, uh, sort of a village road looks like without street lights and dividers you can uh, I mean you can see but it's not much and especially if something is dark you're likely to miss it uh, since the cars have a better headlight they can they can go faster because they can see more uh, now look what happens when i turn on my ox lights you can definitely see more and it gives me the confidence to go a lot faster and it must be hurting the oncoming traffic so i'm going to switch it off now now we are going to join the national highway and i'll soon show you what it looks like out there look at this idiot coming from the wrong side oh no no this is the service lane so it's all right let's just find a way to join the highway Yeah, see I can I can hardly see anything here. But if I had my light So actually this is not bad. There's quite a lot of ambient light plus there's a uh, light from the other vehicles and traffic plus this is a known road so i know uh, i know the surface uh, the bad patches are sort of further up ahead so 
so now you can see that we can hardly we can hardly make out anything on the surface of the road so on a road like this it's sort of very easy to hit uh, one bad uh, bump and there are lots of them on this road and you know that would result in a major problem either you break your uh, rims or worse you have a fall uh, but when I turn on my lights uh, now the road is a lot more uh, visible as such Of course, here there are street lights, so it's easier. All right, we're heading into a tunnel now. Oh, the tunnel is much better lit than the rest of the road, so yeah, that won't work. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that truck. It barely fits into the tunnel. I hope there's no loose beam or light up there. Now as soon as we come outside the tunnel it's a it's like a deep uh, left hander very easy place to crash especially for bikes so we make it safely through this looks like Looks like some car under testing. MH14, so that's Pimpri. Maybe it's a new, maybe it's a new Tata vehicle or something. It's okay, car. I'm not going to copy your design. Seems to be moving well. I hope you guys are getting a good view of how effective the lights are. That's without them, that's with them. Right, now we can see the lights in total uh, darkness in the absence of all ambient and street lights. Nice winding road in the middle of the night. Now let's switch this off and see. Yeah, I think this is much, much safer.
I feel a lot more confident. I have no idea how this footage is going to come out. But let's see.